Hello and welcome back to Barefoot Sports. I'm Hillbilly Chris. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, guys. So I'm going to give you all a quick breakdown of what we've been doing and what the plans are uh, moving forward. Uh, we are doing shorts up on YouTube. Uh, I did two of those this week. Uh, we'll have more shorts coming out next week. I think those are a really good way to keep content flowing, even when content isn't flowing. And being able to put them on other platforms also helps, like Twitter and TikTok and all that. Which, by the way, we now have a TikTok, uh, Barefoot Sports on TikTok. Y'all check that out. Uh, I'll be updating the panels to make these look, I'm sorry, over here, uh, look nicer in the coming streams. And uh, we'll make sure that the TikTok link's up there as well. Uh, most of the content should be pretty cross between the YouTube shorts and TikTok. But certain things work better on one or the other. So that'll go up on, you know, the appropriate platform moving forward. Uh, videos. Full-length videos. Not YouTube shorts, but full-length videos. Uh, should start rolling out next week. I've been working behind the scenes. I'm trying to get some videos kind of prepped and ready to go for the future. Trying to, you know, fix the whole workload thing. So even though y'all ain't seeing no videos right now, it mean doesn't mean that videos ain't being made. So just stay tuned for that. Those will be coming out. Uh, streaming, I hope, becomes a little bit more of a regularity. Um, I'm not exactly sure what days or when or where we're going to try to do that, but like in a perfect world, I'll be doing two to three streams a week. Um, it won't always be Football Manager. I do like Football Manager. We will keep doing the save and we'll be doing that. Uh, but we will probably sprinkle some other things in. Uh, if I end up trying to see how bad this year's Madden is, I might do that off Origin for 10 bucks for a month. And we might fuck around with that for a little bit, but don't count on it too much. Uh, Forza Horizon 4 is also a lot of fun, and I enjoy that. So you might see some of that on the stream. You'll definitely see a lot of Forza Horizon 5 when that comes out this fall, um, as well as uh, moving into Football Manager 22 uh, when that comes out this, I think it's probably November. So be prepped for that. Uh, besides that, if there's other uh, things that y'all are interested in seeing on the stream, let me know and we'll try to accommodate that. Uh, but moving forward, um, it's Saturday, I'm up early, my sleep schedule's pretty much together, and we'll be getting ready to roll. One more note. One more note. Uh, I got jury duty on Monday. So Monday, you might get a short or a video, but most likely, depending on what's going on, Monday you just won't see me. But rolling on the rest of the week, Tuesday through, we should be good to go. With that said, let's get back into the Romford save, see what's going on here, and kind of get refreshed and caught back up, and then we'll carry onward. Uh, we're almost to the end of the year. We're at the end of December. January will open up our transfer window. We are in first place. We're still a game or two behind most of the other teams, um, played-wise, but we are two points ahead, so that's looking pretty good. Our form ain't been too bad. So this was a cup game then, because our last one shows a win here. Go back down into our schedule. Yeah, we just got uh, eliminated from the FA Trophy. Okay. I see. Not the end of the world there. All right, and uh, let's see. Let me mess with my mic settings. It, it seems off. All right, that should be good. At this point, it's still picking up my voice, but it looks like any of the background stuff kind of be gone by now. So that looks a lot cleaner. And, and let's go on here. We got nothing but league games now. 
We're out of all of our co other competitions. Yeah. So from here out, it's just the league. So we got two more games wrapping up December. And then what? Five, four, four, four. So yeah, the crazy part of the schedule going to be over. Um, it looks like for the most part, it's going to be about one game a week moving through for the rest of the season. So a lot of the problems where we're having are trying to keep people fresh and all the injuries and all that crazy congestion kind of happens more in the mid, uh, towards the end of the year. I'd say from like September all the way through December. Even even August a little bit, but like the league doesn't start up till mid-August. But yeah, I mean, the first half of the season, if you're not, is always going to be bogged heavy. And then the back half can be uh, if you're still in some cup competitions, but it looks like it'll be calming down for us. So like losing out of those competitions might be a blessing in disguise. If we go back to the medical um, reports, we should be getting Jack Brown back pretty soon. And then the rest of our guys, are they look like they'll be okay, I think. So, yeah, Jack Brown's been out 79 days. He'll be coming back. Pretty soon. Buchanan's been out 33 days. Yeah, we've had a couple, like, little nagging injuries, but the big ones have been to Buchanan and then that bad injury to Jack Brown. Getting him back should really help out with the midfield, too. Let's go back into our... Yeah, we turned off the scouting trying to save a little bit more money. That's right. Makes sense. Let's go back, check our dynamics. We need to be playing Okosemi and more games. We'll keep that going on to just keep him happy there. Winfield's become a leader. Looks like most everybody's happy. Uh, Ola wants to play some more games. Eong and Okasemi. So I'm actually going to open up Notepad real quick, and I'm going to just take their names down so we can try to keep our locker room good. So we'll, we'll do that real fast. And I'll just store that over her. Off to the side of the screen. But everyone else seems pretty happy. Uh, looks like Iba and Dean Harrison are going to start being a little unhappy with training. But at the moment, they're all right. So we'll, we'll, we'll continue on then. Like I said, if you see any stutters or anything, that's just going to be football manager taking up all the resources on the computer. So if we drop the music for a minute or whatnot, I do apologize, but there ain't too much I could do about it. This is a pretty uh, intensive game on the computer. There's a lot of processing going on in the background. So our next game's against Malden and Tiptree. Uh, how have they been doing this season? We'll check that out here in a second. See what we're up against. Seven more days to two weeks for Jack Brown. Two to four weeks on Luke Robertson. So 
So, Malden and Tiptree's middle of the table. They got eight wins, five draws, and six losses compared to our 13 wins, two draws, and four losses. So, we'll go on into match day now. I want to stay attacking. We'll try to defend more narrowly. We'll see if that works out. They're advising it. If we don't like it, we'll change it back. Uh, we want to make sure Okasemi's getting some games, so we'll put him in because we made him that promise. He's actually playing better than Cascaval now. Cascaval's kind of old too, so... He might be on the decline, not to mention he's not really match sharp at the moment. And then Ayong's been wanting some games. So we'll get him in. And then Ola should be playing on the wing. We'll put him in for Potter, I guess, right now. Because Graham works really well with Rowe. And then if we need to adjust it, we will. We'll get Iba a game. I mean, he is our fourth uh, striker, but he's not too bad. He is striker number four. But they're all pretty close outside of uh, Fielding just being the best. We'll tell them we got faith in them and that they're expected to win. Had a little bit of an effect, not as much as I would have liked. We'll be in black today. That didn't have anywhere to go. Ola wasn't ready for that. No, that, that's not a penalty. That's a bullshit. I don't agree with that call whatsoever. But penalties six minutes, seven minutes into the game, Rip. Couldn't save it. It looked like he hit it. Like, it looked like he might have been able to save it. He predicted it. It bounced off of him. He just didn't grab it afterwards. He missed the header, so that was a save. But if we had put that where it needed to go, that could have been a real shot. But Iba coming off the, the bench from the last game, coming in and equalizing it up at 11 minutes. Take the 1-1. One, one. Looks like we got an injury to Parker. I'll probably sub him off here in a minute. See who we put in for him. It suggested Potter, but it looks like I'll probably put Ola back into that spot. Yeah. And then we'll put Potter up.
Uh, we cleared it. I'm just not sure that there's going to be anywhere for Iba to go. Oh, he might actually beat him. Ugly shot, though. But there wasn't anything else he could really do. Like, y'all have anyone to pass it back to. We're kind of an up-tempo team. We give up a lot of possession on the on the corners. But unfortunately, I don't really know much about set pieces. So, me going in there and fixing it, it's a little bit problematic. And we give up another one. The defending narrow ain't really ain't really paying off. We're gonna go back in and change it. So we're gonna go back to playing uh, a standard width on the defense. We're not gonna let them play narrow. They just keep them out of the box. Because they're just beating us on the edges and then getting it into the box anyway. Fielding comes through and equalizes quickly. So we ain't got no problem scoring goals today, but we're giving up a lot more points than we'd like. Looks like we're good on the defensive front right now. Let's go back to that standard width looks good. Oh, I thought we were going to get another one there, but it's just a little bit wide. Still look like a good shot, though. We had a chance there. Looks like Buchanan's about ready to be coming out of this game, too. He's had a good game, but he's tired. He might be able to be a little bit better off at halftime, but he ain't going to make it no full game. Easy save. Yo, what's up, Snow? How you doing, buddy? How... We're actually getting the stream going like we're supposed to. I slept like a normal human being. You believe that one? Crazy, huh? All right, so that should be a penalty for us. Are they going to get him a yellow or a red for that? Go give him the yellow card. We got Iba taking this one. He's already scored once today. No luck there. He hit it right at the goalkeeper. That's a crying shame. Looks like Okosimi's kind of getting tired too. Um, he'll make it a little bit longer into the game, but Buchanan, it looks like, is pretty much done. Tell the attackers I've been pretty happy with them. We're going to tell the midfield that they can make a difference. And I'm going to tell the back line they weren't that bad. But they could still improve. I have faith in them. So we got really good motivation here from uh, Etheridge, Buchanan, and then Fielding and Iba. 
Parker's not in. Looks like Bonnet's focus, so we might want to be thinking about bringing him on too. While he at least has good morale, I want to try to keep Buchanan in a little bit longer before I sub him off. Is the green screen supposed to be on? No, I'll have it turned on. Um, I can't wear the hat and have the green screen on. And the way it's set up right now, it's really wrinkled. So it doesn't pick up very well with OBS or a shot cut. I really have to do my green screen right now through uh, Adobe to get it to look clear like I did on the, uh, the short last week because the other programs just aren't fine-tuned enough to be able to pick it up. So right now it's premiere or bust for the green screen. But, coming, but in the coming days, I'm hoping to be able to get a little bit positioned and get it a little bit better to where I can kind of get it pulled tighter and maybe be able to make use of it in some of the streams. It's just not something I can I can realistically do right now. Luckily he was off sides because he beat us bad there, just tipped it right over the goalkeeper. Etheridge just got a finger on it there. Uh, I think we're going to go on and make our subs. Looks like we need uh, Okosemi and uh, Buchanan coming off. I think we'll go Cascaval here. Yeah, I appreciate the heads up in case it was supposed to be on and it wasn't. But yeah, so a lot of the different tools I have all have chroma key and they can work with the green screen. But just depending on how good the software is, the green screen looks better on... Uh, works better on uh, some programs than others and is wrinkled and as messy as the green screen is behind me. Um, Adobe's the only one powerful enough to really make use of it. OBS makes it look kind of funky because there's like technically three or four shades it's seeing. It's not ideal. Been a pretty quiet second half. I guess we're going to probably end up at the draw at this rate unless something happens here. Etheridge boots it deep. He was going for Iba, but we couldn't get it down. Now we got to play defense. The back line's looking solid, but we have so many people playing up in the 4-2-4. Um, I'm not sure we could contend to the midfield. Good save there from Etheridge. Uh, Ion got it out of there. Right now, any point's a good point, though. Uh, out of our games, right? Even if we draw and get a point, it just kind of helps solidify our, our, our lead a little bit since we're still games back. But, I mean, a win would still have been way nicer. As long as we don't lose this, I think we'll be all right. Iba's got it. We got a chance to try to do something here. It's down to fielding. Back to Iba and nothing there. We got the corner at the end of the game here. That ain't going nowhere. Oh my God, I'm from Abetown next to Romford. FIFA story says. You don't understand how much joy this has given me. 
I appreciate you coming in. Um, I am American. I have never been to Romford. Um, but I wanted to try to go deeper down the leagues and do some things. And actually, um, I've, I've done some homework now on the Romford team, FIFA. And, you know, I might end up being a fan. But uh, we ain't doing too bad. I plan on streaming this anywhere from two to three times a week in addition to started to get videos out. Uh, this is a brand new channel coming up. So it's taking a little time to get things going. But we're definitely going to be getting some Romford going on here. Um, yeah, you weren't good enough. We should have been winning. Or you were unlucky tonight. I don't think that they were unlucky. I, I just, I don't think the defense played that well. Yeah, that was a match we should have been winning. But then I think I have to baby Graham and Ola not to demotivate them. We'll tell them they were unlucky. Only Graham's kind of demotivated now. So overall, I mean, we're still one game uh, less played than Felix Stowe and AFC Sudbury. And we're ahead by a, a full game. So we're still not in a bad spot. And our goal difference is the best of the league, too. So our tiebreakers are looking pretty good. We're just not playing as well as I would like for the money that we're spending. Because it's going to be probably one more season and we're going to be really hurting on the finances. I, I think with the way it's going to be working this year is we're going to bleed out most of our money and then we'll probably end up bleeding out the rest. And then when Tamplin gets rid of the team from the, because he's looking to, he's willing to listen to offers, um, depending on what happens there kind of be where we go from there. But we'll probably move up from, uh, it's being Division League 1 up to probably Vonorama South. And they'll probably end up having to hover for a few seasons while we try to get the money fixed. But we're doing well, but we're not we're not playing as well as what we're paying everybody. Romford has great clubs. Yeah, I saw a couple things about it. And a couple people saying that like they had tryouts or they played for Romford for a bit. And I think I saw something on YouTube with like uh, a game between... A friendly between Romford and uh, Hashtag that was a pretty good video. But honestly, like, I'm still pretty new to soccer or football, as you all call it. Because I'm American and we call it soccer. Uh, my big thing is I've always been, like, uh, an NFL fan and an American football fan. And honestly, our, our football games suck. <laughs> Madden's actually worse than FIFA. So I wanted something more in-depth that picked up Football Manager. And uh, with the goals for this channel, um, I'm very knowledgeable with American football, and we'll be covering that through the season on this channel as well. And I'll be talking about that and trying to introduce that to a European audience. And then I'm learning about um, soccer and trying to get better and get some understanding and all that because Football Manager is a really beautiful game. Uh, but I've been watching a little bit of the Prem at the end of last year I'll be keeping up with the Prem this year. Probably some Bundesliga and probably a little bit of La Liga. And um, I'm kind of picking it up and I figured, you know, uh, in addition to doing some streams, that this is going to be kind of a, a good way, uh, FIFA Stories, to kind of document my learning experience and uh, development with uh, soccer moving forward. Tom Fielding revealed about how I lost my temper. <laughs> But he knew what I did. We should have won that game. Again, guys, if we get some stutters here or there, or you hear the music drop, um, there's nothing I could do about that, and I apologize. But uh, football managers just so intensive on the computer, especially while streaming, that um, it's going to happen sometimes. Because I probably put up too much in the uh, the database. And I'll go to using like 100% CPU. So 
If it's stuttering on your all's end, know that it's also stuttering on my end. We're we're trying to chug it along. In addition, uh, FIFA, if you all want, if you want to be able to keep up with uh, what's going on uh, through the streams, but you can't always make it or whatnot, um, at the end of each season, I'm going to end up doing one YouTube video and do it like a stream recap and try to break it down in like. 30 minutes to go over like trades, players in, players out, how the game's going and what goes on. That way, even if somebody comes in later on into these streams, um, they can watch the recaps, be caught up and kind of know what's going on at the full time. So that, that's kind of my goal and my plan moving forward. Uh, I was saying that um, I was apologizing if the, uh, the, screen, the stream... Uh, temporarily freezes every now and then or if the music stops because I've got so many databases loaded that I'm hitting 100% CPU at times and when I'm also trying to stream there will be some stutters but that's not just on your all's end that's on my end uh, but also if you're interested in keeping up with this uh, we're still in the first year but at the end of each season I'm going from the streams I'm going to go back and edit it with a uh, uh, a season summary, so to speak, and do like a 20 to 30 minute video so people moving forward can kind of catch up and keep up moving uh, forward with this as we go through for the rest of the year. Do you have Dagenham and, and Redbridge or Barking FC? Yeah, both of them should be loaded up. I ended up with a custom database that goes, I, I think it's fully down to like League 12. Um, anything past League 12, if you try to go deeper than like, there's just so many teams that starts getting hit and miss. I think on this one, I only loaded to League 10 though, even though I have a database that goes to 12. But I should be able to look them up. If I go to uh, Europe, right? England. Which one are they in? Because I got a ton of them. Are huge rivals? Yeah, if they're in division, I've, I've definitely got them. So we got Barking. Not in the division. We'll see if they're like one step down. Let me look up what league they're in. Yeah, they play at the same stadium, right? Maysbrook Park. Essex Senior. So let's check out Essex Senior. Maybe this is a year behind, so maybe it's in one of the other Essex leagues. I definitely know the teams in here. I have seen them before. Keep looking. Yeah, I, I don't know where they've run off to or how I'll find them. But I do know that Barking and Dag, Dagnum is in there. And um, I, I, I'm not sure about Redbridge. I don't know if I've seen Redbridge or not before. But I do know the other ones are in here. I'm just not quite sure where they're at. There, like I said, like we got, we got this database and we just have so many leagues loaded. I mean, like, look at all this, like these are all lower division leagues and this is all in Europe. This is all England football. This isn't even like Italy or anything. This is all just England. So... Uh, they are in there. Uh, where at? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not that well versed. Da oh, Dagum and Redbridge is a team. Got you. Yeah, like I said, that's one of the big things coming over. Um, being a, a normal dumb American, as far as it comes to uh, understanding England and all that. Uh, I don't know the geography, 
And I don't know, like, a lot of the history on a lot of the teams and this and that. So I'm really coming in from, like, a fresh perspective. But, I mean, I guess it would kind of be the same if I started talking, you know, all the colleges for, like, college football, right, to you? Most most, most people wouldn't know that. Like, it's it's just the culture, I guess. But I'm trying to I'm trying to learn. We'll definitely be taking a look at more things. The XG really wasn't on our side, but I, I I felt like we played good enough that if we had done anything in the second half, we'd have been all right. Let's check Harrison's progress. This is our uh, 16 year old we picked up. He's definitely improving. Um, He's already kind of challenging for the first team. But the thing is, like, from 16 to 18 with the development, uh, the development's uh, actually faster when they're not playing too much. It's just our training facilities are all bad. But the thing I like about him is that he does have good finishing and decent physicals for uh, compared to the league that we're playing in. And he's 6'5", so he can end up being a really good target man later on. So I I'm, I'm a big fan here. Never thought I'd see an American managing a team in a low division, but I love it. Yeah, that's the thing for me. Like, uh, the things that I like were are uh, sports games and RPGs. And I could take, you know, some big team and, you know, start in the Prem or the championship. But for me, a lot of the enjoyment is uh, the journey and moving forward and, like, learn and, like, what you make and what you create and what you take with you. So. Uh, lower leagues just more fun and you know getting down there at the grassroots um I, I don't know how you all view uh your all's lower leagues but when it comes to american football there's a certain charm that you get from like going to a high school football game that you don't get from like going and like even though we all have our nfl teams like kids, uh, high school football games are still a lot of fun So, you know, we're, we're getting down there. We're doing the grassroots thing. How I ended up on Romford, though, I mean, that, that was kind of... I think the biggest difference, though, is if you grow up uh, playing soccer in Europe, from my understanding, if you want to keep playing, as long as you're halfway decent, you could go play in a lower league team and, you know, go play recreationally or, like, semi-pro. And it's something that you could do for the rest of your life. The way they structured American football, even if you're a good player, if you're not good enough to be playing, like, at a college you're not playing after high school. And even if you're good enough in college, if you don't go pro, like there's so few league options and the competition's so tight that like once you're past like the age of 22 or 23, uh, the chances of ever really playing American football again is just next to nothing. Just because the game's too brutal to really, you know, have like a rec league, right? Like you would do for like soccer or basketball or any of that. We're getting into contract offers, and I don't want to offer any contracts right now. We're spending a lot of money, and a lot of these guys are older. So, like, Potter right now is making thirty grand a year. And by the way, all the units are in America, uh, are freedom units. Sorry about that, guys. But I understand dollars, Fahrenheit, yards. So, it's kind of what we work with. Uh, but 30K there, 30K there. I'm just, I, I don't really think that they're worth that kind of money. 23 and a half here. Even if they are the better players on the squad, like just letting some of them go on the salaries. Like if we let the top three here go, we're saving almost $90,000. I mean, to hit that level, like that's the next half the squad. They give it into capitalism yet? Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I enjoy watching 
Uh, the big teams do their thing and whatnot, but like, if you get a little more invested, it's usually a better thing, FIFA. Oh yeah, American football is easily the worst for playing pro snow. And even if you do get pro, like the injuries are just so bad that chances are you ain't going to be doing it long. I think the average NFL career is like two and a half to three years. He's really short. He's only 5'6", 121. We'll, we'll scout him though. But he's very, very small. Our next opponent's playing Tiki Taka in this league. That's a little low to be doing that, I think. We're going to praise our goalkeeper. Wow. Look at all the sass. Fine, I didn't want to tell him he was playing well anyway. Been disappointed with Ayong. He's going to step it up. Well, it depends, Snow. Um, there's at least guaranteed money for the year that you're playing. And depending on the on the person that we're talking about, a lot of them uh, take less money in their contracts to get some form of guaranteed money. Like, a uh, good example, um, Carl Lawson left the Bengals and went to the Jets this year. And he signed a three-year, $45 million deal. $30 million of that's guaranteed. He just got injured. He's out for the year. Even if he never plays another down, he'll get 30 out of that 45 million. But for your average guy that's on the bench that gets hurt, like, yeah, that's that's really rough on them, Snow. Without a doubt. All right, so we're predicted to get an easy win there in 16. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're guaranteed for the year for the most part, as long as you're on the roster. But um, for future years, that's why I see like, how much guaranteed money is kind of the more important part of all of that. Go ahead, continue on. Uh, I can't wait till we get the rest of uh, we get Jack Brown back healthy though. That was one of our big signings that he went down early in the year, and we've been kind of been thin for the most part through the year through injury from uh, our midfield. He's extremely interested. Sounds like it would take two and a half grand to get him. His salary isn't too bad. Poor heading, very one-footed, limited skill. Plays a couple positions. Ability to do the unexpected. Attacking midfielder. We'll keep scouting. All the money in NFL contracts are guaranteed? That's crazy, Snow. I mean, it's good for the players. But yeah, the NFL doesn't have anything like that. Not anywhere close. He's supposed to be strong on the left side, but... Feel like we could probably do better. He wants a lot. And even if he has the potential to get to the Vonorama north or south, with our, our training facilities, he won't hit that. He's going to be getting worse. Yeah, extreme circumstances, but yeah. I mean, it makes sense. 
Totally makes sense. All right, so selection, you selected. Potter and McCoy don't have a good repertoire. Row and Graham are working well. We got Cargbo here. I think Oko Simi came out last game. I'll, I'll put him on as a sub since we promised him more playing time. But he's not up to 100% yet. He's at like 93 and 92. So I think we'll just run the starters this game. And uh, we'll go Hurst over Iba. Maybe Bonnet over Potter, Potter there. So we don't have the broke up uh, relationship there on the end. Tell them that they're favorites. Try to get them motivated. Didn't really work. Let's see what we can do. McCormick. To bulk. To McCormick. They definitely are playing a little tiki taka. I just don't think that the players of these leagues have this. The skill to really utilize that. They don't have the vision and whatnot. And I think those can kind of be a detriment. We're shooting like crazy. Something will stick eventually. That's way overshot. Her state had a chance to get that one. Back to Hurst. I think he's just going to go with it. Fielding's just kind of hanging back a little bit too far. We'll take the penalty there. See if we can... No, didn't get the chance to switch it to make sure Fielding was taking it. Looks like McCoy's going to do this one. And he nails it. There we go. Early lead. Early points. I will take them early points. The expected goals are looking okay for us, but we need to get one of them to go. We'll press on that, on the uh, the corners. I don't know what Winfield was doing there, but that, that wasn't even like remotely close to the goal. Sloppy pass by Bonnet. Hey, 
And we got beat. Who'd he beat on that one? Was that McCoy that got beat? Uh, I want to say it was Parker. It's kind of surprising. Yeah, I think it was Parker that actually got beat. Because he should be taking the inside duty there. And he got on the inside of McCoy. But McCoy's kind of playing a little wider. Fielding with the rebound. Fielding is easily the star of the team. Winfield to Graham. It looks like Cargbo could have maybe came wide and received the ball. But he didn't. Ooh, Barnett coming in. Nice. Perfectly timed. That's a really good shot. Playing Barnett tonight, today was probably a pretty good call. And we're up 3-1. Tell them I'm very happy. Look at that. Everybody's got good, uh, got a good game being played. Everyone's got a uh, green morale. We'll take that. Keep piling on the points. Cargbo's been playing well, but he's still deteriorating. I don't think he'll make it through for another year. Uh, we'll have to do almost a full revamp on this team next season, I think. Just on the money constraints and a lot of the aging veterans. Hurst to Parker, and we hit the, hit the top of the net. That looked like a good shot, though. That one had a chance. Graham's injured. We'll go on and sub him. Put Potter in his spot. Bonnet's going to be able to potentially set something up here wide. We got two in the box. Just overshot it. But this is the nice thing of these lower leagues. Like, even when you're missing these shots, a lot of times you could do like we just did there and get, like, multiple sh chances at the goal. And I, the shot, the chance conversion is always going to be kind of bad. It's just about getting enough shots that statistically something's going to stick. <clears throat> Winfield to Hurst. He should drive this most of the way down and then cross it. Fielding just doesn't have the heading for that. Rippo.
Uh, that'd be a penalty on Cargbo. He's got a yellow. And he's off. Rip. So I think we'll pull back and we'll go into a 4-3-2 now that we're down a man. If we need to, we can always shift into a 4-4-1. But I think for now. And then we'll go from attacking. And we'll play uh, balanced. And try to sit on this lead. Protect what we got. That's a bad foul there. He should be going off too. Yeah, that's a straight red. When they slide in with both feet, that's going to be red. So we're playing 10 on 10 now. We'll go back to a positive mentality. Too much shit today. I got this one. POE up on the other monitor. And I'm also trying to watch some of Le Mans. Sounds rough, man. But luckily, you got a PC that can handle it all. It's a nice block there. We got a big number advantage here. And to just be able to prevent the crosses, I love having like the, the larger, bigger defend defenders in the back. So we get a lot of headers clearing, clearing the ball out of the box. A 24-hour race. I, I won't be going that long, Snow. Uh, although I don't really have a time limit set per se today. But I do want to get a decent stream in. Especially since I'll be editing tomorrow. And then I've got jury duty on Monday. So probably ain't too much happening on Monday either. We'll see if I feel like my videos are ready to get something going out on Monday or not. And that, that was a shot, but didn't work out. Um... From here, I want to sub the kid on. And then uh, we'll get Oko Semi in again since we've been promising him game time. Potter got a good interception there. Rowe really shouldn't be dribbling this much. Or shooting the ball. I don't know what got into him. But he's like, I'm going to go do something. Good clear out of the box. We'll take the dub. More than happy to take the W there.
Offsides. Three one's a good result. That'll help the goal differential too. Gotta praise them when they do well. Be a mean cuss when they ain't, but when they are playing well, you gotta let them know. Martin Edwards is happy. The rest of them are kind of lukewarm. Graham's out 12 days to two weeks with a gash lower leg. And the Cargbo's got the suspension, and since it was red, he'll be suspended even longer. We'll keep scouting all them. That's fine. Yeah, good win. I, I was pretty happy with 3-1. Like I said, as long as we... Out, outright win the league, I'll be happy. But moving up next year, I, I guess you can't really look at this team too much for what next year's going to be because there's going to be so many faces shifting. Uh, goal keep coaching. We still need to be working on our team bonding every week. Our morale's not good enough yet. And no match practices. We'll just do the game every week. Um... We'll get him some technical training. Let's do chance, uh, chance conversion. And we'll do uh, one one set of physical training. We've been kind of ignoring that since the league's been going. But now that we're down to like one game a week, we could probably afford to do this early in the week. By the way, if you want to be able to keep up with all this, FIFA, I'll, I'll put on my little sellout outfit and be like, you should subscribe to the channel, which I won't know if you do or not. I mean, I don't have notifications on. So, I mean, it's your call. But uh, also, if you like the video, that helps out with the YouTube algorithm as well. Hopefully, we can start getting more people in here as well. So, I'll take off my little, uh, little self-promotion hat and get back into the stream. Uh, Buchanan's actually declining on his finishing and first touching, his heading, marking, passing, flair. But then he's getting better with free kick taking, anticipation. I mean, overall, it's pretty middling. He's got, like, the ability to get a little bit better, and he's not old. But I'm not sure he's going to get too much better. The other thing is he's a midfielder, but... He's kind of short at 5'7", and he's really light at 132 pounds. So I don't know if we'll be able to keep him more than just another year at all. Shill hat? Yeah. Working on the shill hat, Snow. You know, say YouTube guy. Maybe maybe what I need to do is do it like the other YouTubers do, Snow. Be like, smash that like button and subscribe. You know, it just it doesn't feel like me, though. I don't, I don't do the overexcited. Unless I'm like really raging at something, but you know, moderate, moderate excitement, moderate. But yeah, that'll be the last game for the year. And then the transfer window should be opening up around the first or the second. Uh, the big thing is, do I really want to utilize this window and be bringing people in when we're already bleeding money? Because this team looks good enough. But am I looking for the future? Like, is there going to be any good pickups where I'm like, yeah, we'll pay them for the rest of the year, even though the team's good enough. But that'll lock them down for next year. Or do we just wait? Potter waiting on contract talks. Supporters are concerned that we'd let him go. 
I mean, he just wants a lot of money. It's just too much money. Like, he's definitely good. But, like, he's not 30 grand a year good when we're, we're struggling like this on the, on the cash front. Like, both of them are just wanting too much. Let's see if we can offer him and see if we can get him to take less. He wants even more. That's, that's just not happening. I mean, he's not going to want to take less. I just can't do more. It's just too much. We're too poor to be able to afford that. Cannot afford. This should be another good win for uh, easy win for us there in 18th. That's pretty low down. Yeah, I mean, we've got him beat in almost everything except pass percentage, which is still pretty close. We're quiet and leaky, so are they. They're aggressive and waste. We're aggressive and clinical. They're aggressive and wasteful. Yeah, it should be should be a good good win for us. I'm hoping. Between us and second. All about the separation at this point. The loading times will probably be longer through January because of the transfer window. So be be prepared for a lot of spinny circles. Going to have a lot of them. Usually bogs down through the end of, like, at the beginning of the year and then through all of January. So what happens when you get ambitious and you got, like, a player database of 80,000 while you're trying to stream? Lots of spinny circles. Well, we dropped it again for a second, but we're back. All right, beginning of the year, what we got? We'll keep scouting for the most part. Unless someone stands off as being really bad. All right, so um, Brexit now has taken effect. Uh, 17 foreign player limit in squad. Special status till the 20, until 24 for EU players already in the nation. Ireland will be continued to be treated as non-foreign to nations leaving the EU. We're just bleeding money. Lost a little bit less in December. I mean, I, that's nice. Work permit rules rip. So Okosemi and McLeod want games at the moment. So we'll try to play McLeod in the next game.
How are we looking? Still a game up, and we've played one less game. So with a win, it would still kind of be like being plus two. Cargbo is still continuing to decline, but, I mean, he's old. <laughs> we signed him for this year, but, like, the dude's 38. Like, he's not going to get better. We just needed depth. Praise and ask for more out of him. Now we got Cogs Hall. Where's Parker sitting at? 13 and a half? I could probably offer him a new contract. See if we could cheapo him down to 17. I don't mind paying him 18. He's one of the better players. That's still about half of what uh, Potter was wanting. And that media person really hates us. Fierce dislike. Off the media. And I thought I gave a lot of coach speak answers too, but he ain't hearing none of it. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with the results we've been getting overall too. The rest of everything seems pretty okay. I don't think we're like in danger of giving, getting fired though. That'll be good for him, and we'll be able to start getting the sharpness built. Limited to 45 minutes. Yeah, we'll probably end up playing like 20, to be honest. I don't want to see him get hurt. A Forza commercial. <laughs> Horizon 5 is going to be really good, Snow.
And then I said, what, McLeod? Yeah. Try something like that. We need more sharp maintaining sharpness. We need more sharpness from Iva, so we'll we'll give him another game. Hopefully we'll be able to get a good W here. Would have liked to see him step up and get the ball there. Yeah, that's not in any danger. He should have just let that go for the goal kick rather than give him a throw in there. Really bad decision making there. Our back line does a pretty good job at maintaining their shape. Easy save. There we go. Good shot. Ivan nailed it. Keeping them in was a good call. Less than two minutes for the score. Gotta love that. Less than two minutes. Potter's injured. He's kind of playing through it at the moment. We'll let him play a bit. Fielding's got a real shot. I wish Potter had taken a shot rather than trying to pass it inside. He had a chance there. Fielding Nell's another one. He's definitely been MVP this year. 26th to the goal so far this year. He ain't showing any signs of slowing down. Yeah, that ain't going anywhere. It's kind of sad, though, that we didn't get it back. I mean, I guess that's kind of one of the dangers of playing the 4-2-4, only having the two midfielders, even though we're getting a lot of good header clears, trying to get the ball back is not always the easiest.
Can't be too happy being up 2 nothing right now, though. Can't be too unhappy. Spoke a little soon. He absolutely nailed it into the corner there. I think that was... I think that was Okosemi he beat there. We'll start with the ball. Should be a corner. Really need to work on Fielding's heading. He just might be a bit small. It's another spot where uh, if we could get that 16-year-old to develop, uh, Dean Harrison will probably be good at that spot. Oh, I thought that was in. Hit that off the woodwork. I thought that was in for sure. Rip. Thought we had that one. Buchanan's the only one not having like a really great game. We'll probably sub him off for Brown here pretty soon. Iba had a shot there, just couldn't get past the last defender. He had the space though, it just it wasn't a good shot. Are you kidding me? All right, so we got Brown coming in. Uh, Potter ain't been playing bad, but he is injured. McCoy's not having his best game, but we don't really have anyone to put on for him if we don't need to. Same thing on row. See if we could go get another point now. Went from two up to two two. Not what I was hoping for there in the later stages of the game so far. Okosemi's getting real tired, so we'll take him out now. 
put Cascaval in. We're going to do something. Here's the time to do it. Hey, late second goal. In extra time. Look at that. McLeod came in clutch. Ripped that one in. Well, we won that one in dramatic fashion. I wasn't expecting to have to do it that way, but I mean, I guess we take the W and move on. Hell of an ending though. Super clutch by McLeod. Two to three days on the hammy, that's not too bad. We got Canvey Island next. They're in 14th. Hey, what's going on, Yuri? How you doing, dude? Welcome in. We're uh, we're winning some more games. We got uh, one of our midfielders back. We're trying to. I'm, I'm hoping to be able to at least get close to finishing the season if we don't get it finished today. We'll try to get him for twenty three five. There we go. We'll get the music going again. What's up with you, you uh Yuri? How you doing, dude? Does this does the team buy that sixteen year old a car car for his seventeenth birthday? Uh, no, if he plays well, he gets a Big Mac. Yuri, We're, he's on that Big Mac salary. He makes three hundred and twenty five dollars a year. Speaking of sixteen year olds. He's only operating at a county value, though. Yeah, that's just not good enough. Yeah, I'll pass on that.
And I think attacking corners is probably where I need to be trained. Spend in the morning with the fam. And it's a Royale with cheese in Europe, isn't it? True. I I I, I did not I did not think about doing the conversion. It's because of the metric system, Yuri. All because of the metric system. Um, 13 to 18 on acceleration. Yeah, we're going to keep scouting him. Ten to twenty tackling. I want to offer him a trial. Only in France, Snow says. Yeah, we hit Brexit. All right, so we're going to take uh, Corrigan on on trial. That'll let us see his stats a lot faster. And then we can make decisions on whether or not we'd want to bring him in. It feels good, though, to be getting down to one game a week. We don't have to worry so much on the, the injury front and the, uh, the fatigue front. Is it like December the 45th in Europe? Confusing metric system. That's what I'm saying. Parker signed his new deal. I'll feel a lot better once uh, Fielding's signed. Are the uh, are these pictures like actual ballers, or are they shaggy looking actors? It's a mix of both. So all of the players in the database that are actual players, those are their real pictures, Yuri. Now a lot of the sixteen year olds are the people that are coming in. As the game goes through years, and the computer generates new players, those are not real pictures. Those are actually done through. Um, uh, an app called uh, Nugan, and it uses uh, AI to create realistic looking players. So it's not actors, but it's actually AI generated images of people. Which I think is really cool.
fielding side for two more years. I don't like having to give him the the promotion salary raise, but if anyone's worth 30k a year right now, it's Tom Fielding. Kids still improving. I might call him off the bench. Yeah, I'll probably pull him in off the bench. Check the happiness. Ola wants another game again. Before Romans got all name ham happy. <laughs> well, I mean, it's that new calendar, right? You had to fit in 12 months instead of 10. I guess we'll start with Jack Brown, but we can't push him too far. He should be pulled like a little bit before halftime. They didn't even have the decency to put him at the end. Or <laughs> didn't fuck shit up. Right? Very good point, Snow. Uh, yeah, our, our players are not excited. They just, they're simply composed. They're going in, they're, they're going to go do a day's work. Playing a four one four again, four uh, a four one four one against us. It's a very defensive formation. We're on a pretty attacking one. We'll see if we'll have to make adjustments. Never mind, Hurst drills it. Ooh, we got beat. I'm not used to losing headers like that.
Yeah, my hat would be invis, but I was also talking to Snow about it. Uh, if you notice, like, the green screen, it's super wrinkled. Not very smooth with the way that I've got it set up in here. So, with all the applications I've got, you can do chroma. But the only one that's giving me a good chroma off of it is my Adobe. I'm going to have to mess with the settings more. Um, and, and also try to reposition the green screen. Because uh, if I used OBS to make the green screen, it's going to have a lot of that weird fuzzy stuff going around the edges. It's just not going to look clean. But I don't really have the space to be like moving the green screen out either. Yeah, more of it's about the pole, because I've got it on a, a big pole, and it's got a wrap around the edge. But I'll probably end up doing an ironing job. I just need more space for it, and a better way to set it up that's not on a big pole and rack. It'll take some time. Ideally, what I could do is just pull the curtain back, but then I'm afraid to put even more wrinkles in it. But if I just pulled it back, that we'd have the uh, the normal flag and everything behind. But I'm just worried about you having it uh, mess up the uh, the settings for the videos I've got to shoot in the next day or two. But I'll probably end up remassing with it to try to make it all look cleaner. But yeah, the, the hat would also be a no go. I'm thinking on the first about ordering a uh, a camo version of this. That way I can use it with the green screen if I want. Ooh, that was an ugly, ugly looking shot. Big pole. Just for you, Yuri. Uh, I think the shading would be different. As long as it's one of the darker green, I think it'll be fine. I do need to get Jack Brown out before I hurt him. There's a chance. And we'll just give the ball away. That's cool, too. You're asking the hard questions today, Yuri. I ain't going to lie. I don't know if I got answers for all that or not. You are certainly a scholar, my friend. Ooh, good header off there for Hurst. Beautiful cross by McCoy. That's what we wanted to see. Get those points. But that's a no go soon, Rip. Yeah, guys. I mean, I guess, I guess with the OnlyFans status, we're gonna have to go back to the Snapchat. You know, it's a bit of a downgrade, but you know, it is what what it is. If he could have got control of that a little earlier, that would have been a good shot.
Twitter's been on fire since the only fi- OnlyFans announcement. They have not been happy. <laughs> Isn't it already, Yuri? I mean, like, let, let's be honest. I'm not. I'm not even going to lie. Like, Twitch has been turning into a cesspool, Yuri. With all the the hate raids and all the bikini streams, and I mean, it, it's not a game. It, it, it's not the the gaming community it used to be. Which is another reason I didn't feel bad about like moving to YouTube, right? Like. And I'm not out there trying to be like talking about like what is and isn't appropriate and morality and this and that, but like hot tub streams and what Twitch was are two different like demographics, right? So regardless of how you feel about hot tub streams, like the platform's not evolving in a way that that benefits people. Um, that choose to stream gaming content, right? Respect, respect my powers, woman, by pics of my bum hole. (laughs) Accurate. I mean, I, I, I could probably go on that tangent for a couple hours, but uh, for the sake of uh, keeping everything PG-13, I probably won't. <laughs> Honestly, I just don't know how much longer Twitch will end up surviving. Like, I don't think, like, Twitch is shutting down in the next year or two, right? Like, that ain't going to happen. But, like, if you ask me, is YouTube going to be around in five to ten years? I I feel very confident of the fact that YouTube is going to exist in the next five to ten hours and still be big. Will it be as big? Who knows? But it's still going to be major. Now, when it comes to, like, Twitch... Is Twitch going to make it another five or ten years as a major platform? I, I, I don't have the answer for that. I'm not so sure there. Uh, Facebook gaming's growing. Uh, the problem with Facebook gaming, though, is like how difficult it is to find content on Facebook gaming, right? Like you, like they tuck it in the back. Like if they did a better job with their UI and like pushing Facebook gaming, I, I think that it really does have a shot. I mean, Amazon's really the the Amazon Prime thing's really the only thing propping up Twitch, right? Like, if streamers weren't getting paid out with their Twitch Prime subs, because it's essentially a, a source of free money for viewers, um, I, I think Twitch would already be down the, the down the gutter. Yeah, I mean, the tags and stuff work, Yuri. Like, for the people using Facebook gaming, like, the system works. The problem is getting more people to start using Facebook gaming, right? So, in that front, you've got to find a way to, like, bring it to the forefront a little bit more. Hurst has a real shot here. And he passed it off to Fildig rather than just shooting. I wonder if that's just a lack of confidence there.
Yeah, I mean, I, I think Facebook gaming on a whole is, uh, is uh, growing and doing better than it was. I definitely think it'll become more of a player coming in the next year or two. All right, so we've all played the same number of games now, and we're we got a two point lead in first. <laughs> the passing meat cart, but I've got what I need at home. Well put. All right, so we're getting Luke Robertson back now. So our midfield should have a little more depth. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go grab another bottle of water while we're uh, updating here. B R B. And I'm back. Sorry about the hold up there, guys. Let me grab my headset. I don't feel the community that Twitch claims to have is what they think it is. Not if you have entire streams of women, 10,000 viewers calling all men simps. Uh, I don't think that it's... Twitch dying is a weird way of putting it. I, I don't I don't think that Twitch is dying. I do think with the directions that Twitch is going, that Twitch isn't going to be the premier gaming streaming site. Um, I, I could see it going more like a bigger version of uh, Omegle, I guess, in all seriousness. Like, there's a lot of adultish type content on there that's not really the P word that I'm not going to say on YouTube. But it's also not going to be gaming-centric and, like, your go-to stop. Which, maybe that's, maybe that's what they're aiming for, and maybe that works for the platform itself. But... The community that made Twitch what it was, say, around 2016, isn't the community that it's catering to now. So if you're not catering to that community, that community is going to go elsewhere. And the only reason that it hasn't already gone elsewhere is because of Twitch Prime. Now, and when I say that it won't be, I'm not saying that this is happening at the end of the year. I'm not saying that this is happening next year. But, like, if you take someone like Yuri or me, for example, who has been streaming, you know, what, three, four years total, and let's say you spend five years, like, 
cultivating a decent sized stream, like what happens, you know, even three, uh, three years down is very drastically important to what you're putting in at the moment. The best way to put it. Check in on uh, Core again. See if we could pick him up. He could be a good depth guy. I don't think he'd ever be like a star. Like if we don't end up with him or if he wants a lot, I don't have any problem not grabbing him. Okay, 1.5 minutes to catch up. Wife called me from the other room. Hey, no worries, Yuri. We'll be here when you're ready for us. Do what you got to do. Um, yeah, continue. We got them on the super cheap there. $1,400 a year. Won't complain there. Well, it's not just consistently enforcing your rules. It's also establishing what those rules are, too. Like, their rules are pretty vague. And that's why you have, like, trouble enforcing it because they make it vague. Or they like money, so even if you're a big streamer and you break it, you're, you're fine, right? Yeah, a lack of an algorithm really hurts in 2021, Yuri. It really does. Like, the top-down system's not good for, like, growing a stream. Done, but it's just, it's a really slow progress the process. I, I think that Twitch is, and Twitch is going to like keep its market share in its position. It really has to uh, introduce some type of algorithm or discoverability to it.
And I think it's... I think at this point it's just playing out the rest of the games for the year. I don't think we're going to have too much changes up to the end of the year. I mean, is it really an algorithm or is it more just searching by tags? I haven't really seen much of an algorithm per se. I mean, the recommended for you is really weak though. And it's kind of like one of those things that's vestigial. It's more of an afterthought, something that they tried and it didn't go the way they were hoping it would. Yeah, I mean, like utilizing like Facebook ads or, you know, advertising through like Google wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, let's go to the training here for Tom Fields. I want to start getting him some, uh, traits on him. My made-up sponsors are pretty funny. Nice. It reminds me of uh, one of the YouTube reactors for uh, the rap. For rap, um, he does every he does like a fake giveaway every time, where it's like everyone who subscribes now will get an air freshener. Comes up with some random thing no one would ever want. It does it kind of as a as a joke for every stream. This guy could be really good, actually. But yeah, that... I, I like the idea of uh, the made-up sponsors. That's pretty good. <laughs> I, it's all about the personality really though yuri like as long as you can be like entertaining and funny you'll be successful maybe maybe that's why all these years later and me starting a new youtube channel i still fail i'm just not funny enough you know one of these days And Ola was needing game time. That's right. So I'll put him in for Potter right now. All right, Brown's fully fit now. Robertson, we only want to give half a game to. Um, let's go... With Cargbo for now, then we'll sub Robertson in. Which is a fake radio show on YouTube. Nice. Farmer Ivan's Organic Radish Paste. Grandpappy Joe's Discount Pharmaceuticals. Danny's Flavored Bondo. And there's a few more. Nice. 
I mean, these companies are going to be booming any day now. Hey, we look fairly motivated for this game. They are in last place. We are in first, so we should, should be able to get the dub here. Danny's, Danny's Bondo Factory. The tasting room was interesting. I bet. <laughs> Just overshot it. There's a good idea, though, going there. Just didn't quite have it. Rip. Ooh, good header. He just barely got a fingertip on it. Oh, we were off sides. I still like the, the chance. It was a good shot. Ooh, he pulled that one. I think this season, I think we'll definitely go up. I feel pretty good about it. Right now, my bigger concerns with Romford's going to be what we could do in the next year or two as our, our revenue gets depleted. Hope a Brown would be able to get to that. Cogbo's back after his suspension's kind of helping out too. We should be able to get some of our depth back at midfield. An acid Martin being pulled off the wall? Rip. That's a hell of an insurance claim. And we're down? How are we losing on this? Best team versus worst team, and we're losing. Not happy with their play. The missed header gives us a chance. Fielding drives it past. That was an ugly attempt by Hurst. What was that? That header looked better. It just didn't go anywhere. Well, it's a race car. No insurance. Rip. Ooh, lucky that was offsides. We got beat there. Really lucky on the offside.
Hurst isn't really playing well, and he's nervous. So I think I'm going to bring on Dean Harrison in that spot. And we'll see what happens with everything else. Yeah, he, he, he overdid that one. Got to get started on my day. My buddy got me more lights and another green screen panel, so I have to make some major adjustments before I can settle up. Sounds good, Yuri. Thanks for dropping by, man. Appreciate seeing you drop around. I'll catch you later. Good luck with the new green screen. Sounds exciting. It's always nice to get, like, new stuff. So, Cargbo's got it. He's so slow. I was kind of worried that he might not. That's a long shot that almost made it in. We almost got that one. Offsides, no. Dean Harrison with the goal. That's the uh, the sixteen year old's first goal. He 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 earned his royale with cheese. Fielding gives us the lead. Nice. I don't know what happened in the last couple minutes, but they decided to start playing. Cargo's actually playing okay. We'll leave him in. We'll pull Jack out. He ain't been having that great of a game. It's a long sim time. Just sitting on our leads fine as long as we don't give up a point. I'll be okay with it. Just over the net. You know, I didn't envision it ending 2-1 like that and being down early, but... I mean, as long as we're winning, I, I think we'll be okay with it. Like Globo Gym Snow? Does it sound like Globo Gym to you? W's are good. They are. We need all the W's right now. Ooh, I want to match practice. Uh, I need in there. Nah, more average Joes.
do a physical training there. Youngest ever Romford goal scorer at 16 years and 320 days. So he's about to turn 17. really weak but he's decently fast and he's got average jumping how tall is he 5'10 he's kind of short keep scouting him I'm not sure if I want him or yet or not Piston's an 18th. So this has been a good run of games against the, the bottom half of the division. And, and we're getting our W's. That means we're we're winning the games we're supposed to be. So that should help on. Hopefully with the attacking free kicks, we're going to be able to take a little more out of our set pieces. Set pieces have been a weak spot for us. All right, so that took a little longer. La Liga was closing up its transfer window. Graham's on the decline. How old is Graham? 28? Yeah, we might not be bringing him back either, but he does want a lot too, so we'll probably be needing new wingers at the end of the year. It's 
check our dynamics again. Okusimi, Ayong, McLeod. We need to start working a lab po in. He's just not good at anything, is he? Look at all that red. Yeah, we're going to, you know what? You're set for release. We'll just pay to not have to play you. That's sad when you're willing to pay the player money to not have to play him. Just we'll we'll pay off the rest of your contract. Just just go away. Still need to only play Robertson for 45 minutes. Oh, they seem motivated. Better than usual. Take what we can get. Nice save. Just over the top bar again. Rip. YouTube didn't like your message. Rip. Have you ever thought about not pissing off YouTube there, Snow? You got to word things very carefully. <laughs> very, very carefully. Ooh, we got beat bad. Ooh.
Graham's wanted to come out. He's hurt. Good save. It's not like in that message either if you put another one up. You can always use the Discord, Snow. I've got uh, I've got Discord up. Winfield got a good clear. I censored myself that time. The AI is smart, Snow. Just for the record, what I see is not average Joes. Hi, huh? YouTube didn't like my message. Come on, YouTube. I censored myself that time. And I don't like that YouTube takes offense to my language. Rip. I'm not even sure what you're typing, so I don't know how offensive it is or isn't, but I would assume it's not. Over to Brown. We got beat there. I bet try to make a play there for it. There fixed it. Well, I still see I don't like that YouTube takes offense to my language, though. Then I see there fixed it. <laughs> so maybe you fixed it because I don't see anything in between. <laughs> Yeah. It's in Discord. I made a channel for it. <laughs> YouTube didn't like the message. Nice. Oh, it doesn't like the word dog shit, I, I would assume. <laughs> hey, coach, why do I never play? Because you're dog shit. I was watching one other uh, streamer. And I, I guess it's a YouTuber, really, not so much a streamer. And they were doing an FM playthrough, and he was on his first game, game or two. I think it was like maybe his third or fourth game. And he goes, who is this guy? And he looks at his stats, and he's like, yeah, he's getting fired. It's like that moment when the, the coach ho holds the clipboard at halftime. is like, you, who are you? You're fired. YouTube keeping it all clean.
Nice save there. And here we have, wait a minute, I've never seen you before. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it sees through censoring snow. You might have been able to get away with dog space shite, maybe, but... Yeah, it, it's pretty smart about, like, the, uh, the self-censoring. It's actually pretty smart, unfortunately. Make two subs. That's a long bomb to Iba. Back to Brown, but deflected. Ooh, I thought we were going to get it there. That looked good. It looked well. I mean, it had a shot. It's not been one of Fielding's better games, that's for sure. And we get a draw. It's a game we should have won. Should have won that one. Not feeling too happy about that. Absolutely shocking and grim, the fans say. I, I tend to agree. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that's one of the downsides. And especially, like, 
not having bots to be able to like customize it. Definitely, definitely not one of the strong suits. But yeah, YouTube definitely does do a lot more on the uh, auto censoring than uh, Twitch does, and it's also a lot more temperamental. Like it'll even pick things up, like that I'm saying over the mic, and decide whether or not it wants to, like later on, demonetize me or not, just based off of what I'm saying. It, it is, uh, it is more Big Brother. Hopefully he'll start getting better now that he's not injured anymore. Almost to the next game. Sudbury's in ninth, so better team than what we've been playing recently. We still got an advantage in almost every category. Oko Simi's now also happy with his playing time. Nice.
I'm not gonna praise him again. I keep praising him. I'm afraid it's gonna take a go south if I overdo it. But Dean Harrison's definitely approving in everything. And he's doing it quickly. Might even give him the start. Might not be a bad decision. We'll move it to a center field or midfielder, see how that works. It's not optimal for our players, but with some of them having poor relationships working together, this might be the better lineup. And Dean Harrison's not getting match sharpness. We need to get him a few more games. He doesn't have to be like a major focal point, but he does need to be playing more. Ooh, we're lucky that hit the bar because that would have been that would have been in the goalkeeper was not getting there. Um, yeah, good, good clear there. We're just not attacking nearly as much as I would like. It might be about time to like change up the formation. Teams might be keying in. There we go. Jack Brown on the assist. Bonnet shoves it into the corner of the net. Very happy with that one. Ooh. 
Really nice shot. McCoy's got a chance for a cross. We're going to put it to... He should have taken the shot there. Try to shove it into the corner again. Just like that. 28th of the season now for fielding. Maybe our attack is just fine. Fielding's got the wide open shot. He can't put it over the keeper. Ugh. Offsides on that one. I thought he was. I thought that looked good. Shows what I know. Harrison saved it. Roe put up a really decent looking shot. Just asking a little too much of them there. Ooh, I thought we were going to get that. I mean, keepers, their keepers playing pretty well, all things considered, but we're getting a lot of ni nice shots off this game. And then, again, offsides for Harrison. That was two close ones. He's chomping at the bit to get a goal. Everyone's inspired and motivated. That's what I want to see. Go out and get more goals. He wants another cheeseburger. Yeah. Can't blame him. Cheeseburgers are good.
Mark's just wide of the mark. Our team's looking a lot better now that all the starters are coming back and we don't have all those holes in the middle of our midfield. I think that was one of the big hangups we were having towards the end of the, the last year was just everybody being hurt and like having no depth at midfield. That's not threatening anybody there. That was close. They keep attacking that same side and trying to get a header in, and they they keep missing. Wow, they just flat out beat us there. Oko Semi got destroyed on that one. Put Potter on for Graham. Graham's not having a good game. There's a chance he just couldn't beat the defender. We'll get another corner out of it. I don't know if it was necessary to clear it there. We had plenty of people back. If anything, it just might be bringing more of their team forward. Oko Semi almost got beat again by Marks. Same sort of play. That's dangerous. Ooh, he almost had it that time, too. Goalkeeper made a good save. Harrison's putting a lot of shots on target. He just ain't been lucky enough to be able to finish any of them. He's had three good chances. Fielding lobs the keeper that time. That should put it out of the way at 3-1.
make our last subs for the game just to get some mat sharpness for some people. For, for the two bad beats, Okosemi's still playing pretty well overall. He's just had a couple really bad plays. Almost had the hat trick. And there's the hat trick. There we go. 30th goal of the season. And 4-1, this one's put away. Twenty shots, ten on target. I'll call that a success. And now we're nine points up, so we're three games ahead a second now. It's been a really good run. January was a really good month. Minus the draw, everything went as we wanted. We only missed out on two points. we got left we'll check it after it updates here twelve games left and we're up by three So as long as we don't blow it, we're in we're in good shape to move up.
We haven't heard anything else about uh, the owner Tamplin trying to sell the club yet either. He made one attempt earlier in the year that fell through. I wonder how much longer he's going to end up sticking around. And after having a bunch of the bottom half of the division, we should be getting into some harder games up at the end, though. So that could even put us even further ahead. Like if we play number two and beat them, we could jump another game ahead. Oh, we lost another 58 grand. Corrigan picked up a new trait. He likes simpler passing. That might not be a great thing for us. Because we don't do a whole lot of the short, simple passing. Something to keep in mind moving forward. All right, the stream almost died there. The computer's really chugging here. Computer not. Hopefully we'll make Lots of transfers. Although once we get a bit into February, it should get a little bit better. All right, so our performance went up. Doesn't look like we'll be interested in Randall. While we got the money, maybe we'll make a board request on facilities. See if any of those work out for us. So we'll go on and save just in case with all the bogging down.
Well, doesn't look like we're going to get any of that. Can't say I'm not disappointed, but it's kind of expected. He's trying to get rid of the team, not put more money into it. And honestly, losing even more money might actually be a bad decision anyway. Hey, Bridge is in seventh. Should be another another tougher game. Well, Iba's going to be out. We're not paying for injections. We got plenty of depth there. We'll be fine without him. We're all going a lot better. Check our hot happiness. Ola. Somehow he still made it through the team.
It is a lot slower, though, when you don't have any of the uh, the cups to play for in the second half of the year. It's pretty much get your training done and get into your games and then just make it through the game days. Gray's Athletic got a new head coach. Should be good to go from there. Hey, they're looking pretty inspired and motivated. These white and black stripes, they look like refs. Hurst has a shot. There we go. Easy around the keeper. Easy goal. Exactly, Snow. So we probably won't get any of those upgrades for a bit, unfortunately. It's worth a shot, though, because if we could get the youth a bit better. Hey, I got a level up. Nice. What are you playing? PoE? But yeah, if we could get the youth facilities up a bit better, then I could use cheap 16 to 18 year olds off really cheap contracts rather than signing a whole bunch of players for 20 to 30 K it's more of an investment up front, but like in the lower leagues, it can still save us for a bit before, you know, the, the youth really has to develop to be able to hit the first team. That looked like it had a shot. We're definitely getting scoring opportunities. Right over the crossbar again. Yeah, it just hits 87. Nice. Grats. I've been playing more Genshin again. Now that I don't have to worry about school. And Genshin's not really like a full-time game. I've been able to start reworking the account. It's still far ahead of where it needs to be, so it's not like the time I took off really hurt me too bad. Genshin's more lateral progression, I feel. Vildig puts another one in. 
Now it's a scoring bonanza. You're staying pretty motivated. That's good. No, I watched the stream, Snow. I got all three of the codes as soon as they came out. I was watching the live streams for the uh, the 2.1 updates. 2.1 looks good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think the thing that excites me the most is the, uh, the event that they got for uh, the six teams of two. And if you leave one out too long, it, the, the character starts debuffing. I think that could create like a really interesting new uh, meta for it. I also should be able to have enough... Uh, Primo gems to be able to have a realistic shot at getting uh, ball too. So I should be able to get Electro Arc on when she comes out here in about two weeks. So I'll probably be making a push for that too. Pretty exciting. The Archons are always really strong when they come out. Well, not when they necessarily come out. Zhongli was, Zhongli was really weak, but then they fixed him to make him like one of the most busted characters in the game. And then Venti's still Venti. So Archon seem like pretty safe investments. Kind of sad I was on break and I didn't pull for either Ganyu or uh, Hu Tao though. Either one of them would have been phenomenal. That's an ugly shot from Hurst. Well, we gave up a goal. That one had a chance. A little unfortunate. Let's pull Robertson out. He's the only one having a bad game. Put Buchanan in there. And he's inspired and motivated. They had a chance. I just barely went over.
Yeah, that wasn't anywhere close. They could have been dangerous in the box, but they squandered that. We'll take our 2-1 win. More than happy with that. Still three games up, but with only 11 games to go now, it makes the odds go up. Tilbury's in sixth. Up to 14 watchstones? Nice. Do you have like goals for the end of the season on how far you're trying to get? Or are you just going to be dicking around and seeing what happens? For me, PO, a lot of people are like, well, you always need a goal in POE or it gets boring. But for me, like it just gets more stressful when there's like a goal, so to speak. Kid just keeps getting better. I like that stamina's going up. That's going to be important.
Hey. One more uh, unbeaten game, and uh, we break the club record for unbeaten games. I think we're eight, eight wins and a draw in the last nine games. Go back to praising. Undefeated season win, Kappa. I mean, it's always a possibility. It's a good thing I'm not re-signing him. Because he trains like shit. See how we do. Well, that is a quick goal to give up. Less than six minutes in and we're already down one nothing. Jeez. Oof. Less than 10 minutes in and we're down 10 nothing. Jesus. Oh, this is ugly. Oh, I mean, when's talk 
better question, Snow. When is Reddit not toxic? What? Jack Brown lobbed that in. Wow. The goalkeeper blew that. Wow. And look at that, 17 minutes in, 2-2 two, two now. Jeez. Yeah, Reddit's been really unhappy with the changes. They have not been adapting to the new PoE very well. And if you think they're crying now, you just wait till PoE 2. Those tears are going to be in full effect. That could have been 3-2 right there. Goalkeeper just barely saved it from us. Well, they're happy with the pep talk. Because a lot of them aren't happy with uh, GGG wanting to slow the game down. It's kind of like when you're five and your parents tell you you're not allowed to eat dessert for dinner. So you throw a tantrum on the floor and then you still don't get to eat dessert on the floor. So you throw another tantrum and the cycle just continues until they spank your butt. Same concept. Oko Simi with the goal. Look at that. Our defenders want to get in on it. And another one from Potter. Quick double strike. We will take those goals.
Yeah, they're like, oh my god, when they, why are they slowing down the game and nerfing a lot of offenses? Offenses. Who would have thought they'd do this? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Welcome to the internet, Snow. Oh, he got it past us. 4-3. What a high-scoring game this is. Our defense is just like non-existent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's always things you could do. It's just, it's a different mindset. It's really funny to watch people flip their shit, man. Totally different mindset, though. It's easier where you when I don't have a horse in the race, you know? Yeah, it's a lot of people trying to speak for the casuals for themselves. Nothing new there, right? Our defense is showing up right now, at least. Fielding's got a shot. Nope. Horrible pass. Well, that's anecdotal. Yeah, I mean, the vocal minority is always the loudest. Remember, a player is always much louder when they whine.
That looked like it had a chance to be good. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a mixed feeling. Like, there's definitely things I would like to see in the game for me to really want to play it hard that won't happen, but I just know it won't happen. So I just don't really play much. But, I mean, it's nothing for me to, like, you know, want to go bitch about, right? If I don't like it, I just don't play. Hey, we hold on four to three. And that's a new record. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to run to the bathroom and uh, we'll keep going. Be right back. The average player to complain? I don't even know if that's a fair question, Snow. Like, I feel like the average player could compete, like, complete almost any content that they want. It's how much content, right? Because PoE has, like, a lot of systems and a lot of different ways to progress. It's more like branches off of a tree. So I guess it's more like where you choose to focus. Here's the thing I'm listening. Yeah, it's a bad question. I mean, Chris has always been a straight shooter, whether you like him or not. Like, he's never really, like, bullshitted you, you know?
doesn't download the game. The average person who downloads the game doesn't defeat Marvel. The average person who defeats Marvel doesn't make it to maps. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point, too. Like, it's hard to say what the average player actually is. I don't know. For me, it always just seemed like everyone wants to talk about, like, they love PoE for, like, its depth and, like, how deep the game is. And I, I, I've never actually found the game to necessarily be deeper than other games. It just seems way more tedious. For me, anyway. So, I mean, that's kind of been my turn off. It was... We're, we're, making, we're, we're making it more complicated for the sake of complicated. It's not any more difficult, and you'll still understand it. It's just jump through these five hoops 20 times. And at that point, I'm just like, really? And, and for me, like, that's, that's why I'm not, like, so super into it, I guess. Which, I mean, there's people that like that. So, you know, more power to them. Right. It is very broad. And it's very bad at telling you how the game works. There's like no tutorials, which is annoying as hell. Like there, there should be a lot more, this is how the game works. Now, if they would like to toggle the plan for a decade, that's fine too. Like I, I could understand like how a tutorial would get old over and over, but the option should be that. Yeah, I would prob honestly, I would probably be pretty happy with the, the China client. I don't know if it would make me play or not till I would actually mess with it, but it would be a good step, I think. The cloud needs to play. Probably snow. I mean, that would make sense with the way they do things. All right, um, we could be, we could be uh, getting a new owner potentially here pretty soon.
We're still three games up with ten games to go. We are not getting shots off. Another missed opportunity. That's not good. Roe needs to go. Horrible pass. Oh, so close. 
Thought Fieldic had that one. Oh, that would have been some breathing room. First has a shot. No. Off the woodwork again. They're trying. And McCoy's injured now? That's not good. We had a shot there from Brown. Last game was 4-3. This one's definitely not as high scoring. crazy to see how different the game the team can look in a week Another terrible pass. Brown sinks it, and we're up 11 versus 10. Getting Brown back's been really nice.
Well, we'll take the one nothing. It was ugly, but it's a win. And now we're up four games. Being four games up is nice with, I think, what, nine to go now? But I think that might wrap it up for me. I think we're in a position that I'll probably be working the rest of the night on videos or whatnot. We'll see what happens. And I'll probably be taking tomorrow off. I've got court on Monday, and then we'll probably stream Tuesday. And we could probably finish up the season, and I could start editing up the video for that to come out as well. Um, the goal for next week is to get three streams in, uh, one to two videos released, and one to two more shorts. So that's kind of in the ballpark of what I'm aiming for. Uh, whether you see anything come out Monday or not, I'm not sure. It kind of depends on how much more I get done today. But I do have jury duty on Monday, so uh, you probably won't be hearing too much from me there. I uh, do appreciate you tuning in for the stream, Snow. And it looks like we had... 11 playbacks, so we had people coming in and out, so that's a good thing. Um, but I'll catch you later, and uh, peace out. We'll finish this up on uh, the next stream and finish this season and move on to the next. Hillbilly Chris out.